Good morning, you guys. Um, this is this is a very urgent message for you, and uh, I want you to listen to me carefully. Any of you that are following that tarot demon or Nithyananda or anyone else over uh, in Hinduism or the mystics community, I want you to listen to me very carefully. That tarot demon has been telling everybody that I've been crazy um, for the last seven years. And um, I've been telling you all that it was a smear campaign. Um, those of you that remember me from, from the dark night of the soul, you understand the level of work that I was doing and the healing that I was doing. Um, I knew that this was going to get worse before it got better, and it's really bad. It's really bad now. I want to tell you guys, and I'm not joking, I'm not joking. You need to get away from that tarot demon, and you need to get away from Nithyananda now. Now. I was trying to do the, uh, the deliverances last night. I, I listened to Prophetess Maddie's, and halfway through a different one and they started messing with my internet so that I couldn't finish watching the deliverance. This is what they're doing to me. This is what they're doing to me. So what happened? I told you this demon tried to kill me, uh, not last night, the night before. That, that was the fifth time. Now it's trying to make me kill myself. If it's not trying to kill me, it's trying to make me kill myself. So what happened last night, I went totally ballistic on those Nithian and the goons. If they were in front of me, they would have been seriously hurt. And this is not a joke, you guys. This is not a joke. It takes a lot of strength to fight this thing off constantly. And you imagine how I fought this thing off constantly by myself with no support and being attacked by everybody out there. Here, look. From punching my computer screen, I broke. I literally broke my computer screen on my laptop that they froze the internet on. It didn't matter to me. That was the one that I had to install Windows for the tenth time yesterday. This is what they're constantly doing to me. Now. I want you to go to that video where I put that video of Bob Larson and Vlad and get to the part where Vlad is trying to make Bob Larson say I was crazy, but Bob Larson wouldn't do it because he knows better. He knows better. Vlad asked him, um, when I was telling them all that Nithy and Ander was trying to hurt them and that this demon was trying to hurt me, he wanted Bob Larson to say that I was crazy and Bob Larson knew better. He knew it was a demon. Go listen for yourself. These people that are putting demons in us. And God forbid you start acting out. You start manifesting this demon. They're going to call you crazy too. They're going to turn everybody on you. Do you understand? This is, I'm telling you, I don't want another person to have to experience this. Don't believe another word that comes out of that tarot demon's mouth or Nithyananda or any of his followers. You need to leave right now. Get the appointment with Bob Larson to get delivered. And in the meantime, start doing the, the deliverance videos to get the little demons out of you. And um, get your face in the Bible, man. Get your face in the Bible. Jesus is your only hope. I, I'm telling you, I, I almost lost it when, when I finally gave into that anger last night and punched that computer. I had a hard time coming back down. I had a, all the foulest words were coming out of my mouth. I was screaming at these goons. Their mother was the C word, mother effing this, mother effing that. I couldn't believe the things that were coming out of my mouth, screaming at the top of my lungs. The rage was unbelievable. I finally had to, for I don't know, I don't, I don't know how the how the strength was here, 
just just to stop and just start praising Jesus. Then I finally turned on Christian music, Christian music, and I just closed my eyes, raised my hands, and I started praising Jesus. And finally, the peace of God overcame me. This is no joke, you guys. This is no joke. Please stop believing that demon. She is a pathological liar. I have been telling you this for years. Save yourselves. Save yourselves. And I listen, I know that you've been brainwashed to believe that I am just some nut job out here. Here's the here's the proof. Here's the proof. Now I want you to go and listen to Bob Larson in that Bob Larson video and hear what he says about when a demon hurts you or or when a person says a demon is hurting them or or, or their a demon is gonna hurt somebody else. Listen to what he says and save yourselves. This is not about me. This is about saving yourselves. So I have begun fasting and I am only going to be focused on reading the Bible, doing more deliverance videos and, and um, just praying, just praying. That's it. This thing has to go. There's no if, ands, or buts about this any longer. There is no if, ands, or buts about it any longer. You guys have a blessed day. And make no mistake about this. Hear me what I'm telling you. Your life is at stake here. This is not a game. This is not a game. If you let her open your kundalini when I was screaming for you not to, it was because I had experienced what I had experienced. Because I am constantly trying to learn about what's happening here in the spiritual realm. And I tried to warn every last one of you, your life is at stake here. These demons are absolutely real. And do not, do not, don't even speak to that woman again because she will only lie to you and make you believe that I'm a loony tune and for you not to believe me. So here, once again, see the evidence, see the evidence, and now go listen to Bob Larson. Go listen to Bob Larson's video on my page. And get away from that demon and don't ever go back there. Don't, and don't ever look back. Leave and don't ever look back. Now you know why Sid and Ananda attempted suicide. I've been telling you this all along. And that demon came out here and told everybody just what she has been saying about me. She told everybody that Sid and Ananda was psychotic. And that was her follower. Imagine how easy it was for her to say what she said about me. Imagine how easy it will be for her to say about you what she will say about you. Your life is at stake here. This is not a joke. You guys have a blessed day.